Hello everyone, it is the AFL Yank back here again to do my tips for round 10 of the 2021 AFL season. So yeah, I actually had a really, really good round 9 actually. But yep, I ended up getting 7 out of 9 tips correct, which is actually my season best so far. I'm not sure if I've gone 8 and 1 so far one round, but... I am. I already know that I haven't gone undefeated yet. I've actually gone undefeated in my NRL tipping once this season, actually. But I only like do those tips through my Instagram account, obviously. But and <laughs> got a little message from uh, a little live message just just now. But yeah, <laughs> I don't edit my videos, by the way. Like this is all live. But yeah. So, you might notice there's not really any background noise anymore. I turned off the fans in this room because I was worried that <laughs> that would really, like, get into the speakers and it would, like, be too loud for you to hear, but, yeah. So, for an update on my room, my room is back, is set up, is pretty much set up regularly except for the white shelf that was in my room, which actually fell apart. It actually, yeah, it actually, like, ended up getting destroyed. But, yeah. But, yep, if you did see my post on YouTube, obviously, I have found the... I found the good old Lucky Scarf, by the way. So, you don't have to be worried. I will be wearing it next... I will be wearing it this upcoming round. And, uh, yeah. So, the big news of, of last round was, of course, the D starting out 9-0 and for the first time since 1956. And every time they've gone nine and all, they've actually won the premiership. And another thing about the premiership, this you know, there's a constant drought that there hasn't been a, that the minor premier hasn't won the premiership since 2013 when Hawthorne won the premiership. But yeah, but who knows? The D's could definitely change it this year in 2021 if they remain dominant. But yeah. So, I'm actually doing pretty good, and I actually did pretty good in tipping this round. And I currently stand with a record of 49, I got 49, well, my current record, like, so far this season, in total, if I can find my damn phone in the dark, because I still don't have, I still don't have the light on it, <laughs> I don't still have the lamp light on in my room. All right, yeah. So my current like record so far, I've gotten in my AFL tipping forty nine wins and thirty three losses. So yeah, forty nine out of eighty two, which averages out to nearly almost a six hundred record. Almost average averages to a point six hundred, which it's okay. It's not bad, but I I feel like I could do better. But yeah, so we're going to take review of round nine. Sorry about like all the descriptive, like the very descriptive, like first few minutes. But yeah, let's get on to recalling, well, reviewing my tips from round nine. So yeah, predicted the Cats to win by 44 points. It ended up being, ended up being 21 points, but I still got the tip right. So yeah, good call there. Then my Swannies ended up winning against Collingwood, a huge win for the Swans. It's our first major marginal victory since round three. And honestly, I'm feeling really confident about the next four rounds, honestly. Then Hawks versus Hawks versus Ruse in Tasmania. No one expected North Melbourne to win. Like absolutely no one did, but yeah, Hawks still playing like shit. They haven't won a final series since their grand final win in 2015. But yeah, Hawks still playing like shit. Then, Lions, they got a huge win over the Gold Coast Suns. I remember watching this game. I do remember watching this game live, and oh my god. It was such a big beatdown. I literally thought the Lions were going to win by over 100 points. Like, I was convinced. But yeah, I fell asleep. And Suns got back in a little bit in this game, but still. An absolute creaming of the Suns. Like, they absolutely got creamed. Then, 
Uh, probably the game of the round was Richmond beating GWS. They came back from being down big. It was a huge win for the Tigers. Definitely a really good win for them. Then the other tip I got wrong was Port. I thought they would get the job done at home, but no, the Doggies just still remain dominant. Like, they're still looking fierce. I gotta give credit to them. Then, then I got the last three tips right. Got the Bombers win over Frio. It was a pretty good game, I will admit. Then, predicted the Ds to obviously defeat the Blues. They got the job done very handily. Very good win for the Ds. Like, I wouldn't mind if the Ds won the Grand Final this year. It is kind of heartwarming to see a team win a Grand Final for the first time in 57 years. Like, that would be pretty heartwarming, honestly. Like, I would just give respect. And then finally, the West Coast Eagles beating the Adelaide Crows by 30 points. Just, the Crows have, what the hell happened to the Adelaide Crows? They have just, look at them, back in the bottom four. Like, they're just continuing. Like, they basically are playing like they faked of being a good side. Like, they had a strong start to the season, and now they've just fallen apart. I will admit it. They definitely do have a bright future, though, with that huge, you know, with how they started, to be honest. Like, I give respect to the Crows. But, yeah. Now, let's get on to the round 10 tips. Here we go. And Friday night, the 21st of May, it is going to be the Brisbane Lions versus the Richmond Tigers. I definitely think this will be a very good game, honestly. Like, the Tigers... They're coming off a huge win, coming off a massive win over GWS, but I think with how injury riddled they are, they are right now, I I just think the Lions are going to be the better side, and I'm going to go with the Brisbane Lions to win this game. Got them winning by well, not two points. I'd say they win by 14 points. It'll be a close game though, but I think the I think the Tigers will play. I think the Tigers will play pretty well. But I just think they're going to fall shorthanded at the end. And, uh, yeah. Next, we got Carlton facing Hawthorne. The Hawks coming off a horrible loss against... Coming off an absolutely horrible loss to North Melbourne. Definitely a hurt, a loss that will hurt their season. Like, this is probably the worst season Alistair Clarkson has been with the club, honestly. Like, even worse than... like. This almost feels like he could possibly get sacked. Like, like it seems like his coaching days are almost gone. Like, he just does not feel fit as a coach anymore, honestly. But yeah, for the Hawks, I got them losing this game. I'm going to go with Carlton to win by. I got the Blues winning this game. I say they're going to win. I think the Blues will win by 23 points, I think. They'll get a solid win over the Hawks. Just the Hawks have just been really weak. They've just been looking really defeated as of late. Then the Cats versus the Suns. The Suns coming off an absolute creaming loss against against their Queensland their Queensland rivals and the Brisbane Lions. Like it's absolutely no question. The Cats have this game locked up. They're playing at GMHBA. They have been incredibly good at home. Still have been for years. Like, I feel really confident about them. I think the Cats will get a very handle. I think the Cats will win big, honestly. Like, I think they'll get a very good win out of this game. Hell, I could say it. They, it might, they might win this game in the 80s or 90s. Like, I think the margin will be that big. Like, I just think it's going to be a really tough game. Then, Adelaide Crows versus Melbourne... The D's coming off another big win. Coming off a huge win against Carlton. Well, not really huge since the Blues aren't even that good, but still a big win for them. They're 9-0. and I think they'll go 10-0 and this round. I just feel confident about the D's winning. Just the Crows have just been defeated this. The Crows just look absolutely defeated. It seems like they wasted all that energy they had in the first three rounds. Well, like the first four rounds at least. But yeah, Crows, I'm sorry, but I got the D's winning. I think they'll start 10-0. and I got them winning fairly handled. I think they'll get the job very well handled. Then the Doggies facing the Saints. Gonna go with the Dogs to win this game. I just think 
I got the dogs winning this game. Just the Saints. Yeah, Saints having some kicking woes as of late. And, and yeah, Pat wasn't too happy about that. Obviously. If you obviously know, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Nothing against you, man. Nothing against Cartman 22, obviously. Nothing against him. But yeah, sorry, got the doggies winning big. Just the Saints. It's going to be a difficult game for the Saints, honestly. Then, Frio versus Sydney. Game being played at off the stadium. Definitely is going to be a really interesting game. The, of course, the Dockers, they're coming off a big they're coming off a big loss to Essendon, but I'm surprised at the margin, honestly. I mean I get it, the Dockers have been playing incredibly well at off this stadium, but I'm not sure if they could get the job done. Definitely not sure. I mean the I'm honestly not even sure, honestly, but definitely not sure about the Dockers winning, honestly. Like I mean, they have played really good against sides, but they haven't really gone against the top eight side. And you obviously now know how good the Swans have been as of late. Well, the Swans have been against top eight sides, and I think they'll get the job done. Got my Swannies winning. I just, I just feel like we'll get another strong win. I just feel really confident about this game, even if it is at Optus. We're not like I know we did lose the GWS and I know Frio handed handed GWS fairly fairly well, but I think we're a better side when we have Hickey and Rampy, and I think that'll definitely be a game changer there. So yeah, got the Swans win against Frio. Will it be a close game? Yeah, kind of. It might be close, but I think the Swans will still get the job done. Like we'll get it fairly, you know, we'll get the job fairly well done, and all that. We might have a slow start in the first quarter, but yeah. <laughs> Next, GWS facing West Coast. Hate to say, but I got the Eagles winning this game. I just think they've been a really strong side as of late. Yes, they haven't really won that much on the road, but I just feel confident about them winning this game. I just feel really confident about them winning this game, honestly. Especially with Toby Green out next round. He's going to be out for four weeks, which is definitely unfortunate for the Giants. But, yeah. Even with how bad the Eagles have been on the road, I still got them winning this game. Against an injury-riddled so Giants side. Oh, slightly injury-riddled, but... Yeah, still got the Eagles winning this game. I mean, it will be close. Yeah, it, it will be, but... I think the Eagles will be, you know, will handle the job better than the Tigers did. Then, Collingwood versus Port at the MCG. The pie is just looking like absolute shit as of late. And it's no question here who's the prison for the prison bar debate. I'm going with Port to win. Got the Port winning the prison bar showdown here. Like, imagine if Port do wear the prison bars. That would be pretty funny, honestly. But. I doubt it will probably happen, but it would be crazy if it did. But yeah, still got Port winning this game big. It's I think they'll get a very handle. They're gonna get a very handy win over the Pies, just with how shit the Pies have been as of late. Like Collingwood would look like an absolute joke as of right now. And uh, yeah, then finally Marvel Stadium. Sunday afternoon, it is Essendon facing North, North Melbourne. The Bombers coming off a huge win over Frio, and, the and of course, the Brewers are coming off what could be their only win this season against Hawthorne, but, yeah. But nonetheless, I got Essendon winning. I think they're going to be really dominant against the, against the Ruse. They have shown they've been dominant at periods of time, but... I, I think the Bombers will get the job done, honestly. Like, I think they'll get fairly well, you know, they'll get the job fairly, you know, well handled, if you know what I mean. But, yeah. So, yeah, there's my tips for round 10 of the AFL, of the 2021 AFL season. And I will be going quick to the squiggle to show the ladder predictions and, and also, like, the scoring predictions. So, Tigers versus Lions. I predicted the, uh, of course I said, 
obviously had the Lions winning this game. I think it'll be an interesting game, though. Blues facing Hawthorne. I think the Blues will get a fairly handy win. Got 23-point margin win. Then the Cats. Sorry. Sorry, Suns. I got I got the Sun. I got the Cats winning big. It only goes to 65 points. Alright, let me just fix this scoring. Just just give me a second. Yeah, sorry, sons. <laughs> then the Crows facing the D's. I think the Sun I think the D's will get the job very well handled. 52 point win for the D's. Got them starting 10-0. Dogs versus St. Kilda. I'm going to go if the dogs to win big two. I say 30-point win for the dogs. I mean, the Saints will be in there, but I just don't think they're going to get the job done. Swans versus Dockers. I could definitely see why this could be a close game, but I think but I feel confident about the Swannies getting the job done. I'll say probably a 19-point win. I mean, I get it, definitely. I mean, definitely, I totally get it of why the Dockers would probably give us some problems, but I think if we, you know, get on the gas more, I think we'll get the job very well handled. GWS versus West Coast. Sorry, sorry Giants, I got the Eagles getting the job done fairly well handled. Port versus the Magpies. No question here. Big win for Port here. And finally, Essendon versus North Melbourne. It'll be, it'll be an interesting game, but I got Essendon winning that game, too. So, yeah, final projected standings for the ladder. Melbourne, Melbourne still top of the ladder, 10-0. Then the Dogs, 9-1. Geelong, 7-3 in and third. And look at this lineup. Look at that. Third through seventh could either, could either way be all these teams, like... Like literally third to seventh could anyways go any it could go any way if any of these teams, you know, if one of these teams, you know, performs bad or anything and still wins. Like it could it could still go to anyone, honestly. But yeah. Geelong third, Lions fourth, Port fifth, West Coast sixth, and the Swan seventh. All seven and three in my projections. <laughs> Like, damn, that's a loaded... That's going to be one hell of a loaded, like... That's definitely going to be a one one hell of a loaded top eight ladder there. <laughs> There's probably going to be at least... Like, at least all the teams will probably... Could have a chance of having, at max, 12 to 14 wins at the least. From, la from like, you know, 6th, 7th-ish. And then the Tigers hanging on there at 5-5 five and five in my projections. But, yeah. Then, Bombers 9th. Carlton 10th, GWS 11th, Frio 12th, St. Kilda 13th, Gold Coast 14th, and then the bottom four being the Crows 5th, Pie 6th, Hawthorne 7th, and North Melbourne in 8th, and obviously 18th in the contention for the Wooden Spoon. But yeah, that will do it for my tipping video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And anyways, guys... I promise you there will be some new like there will be some new swans gear coming in soon. But yeah. Anyways guys, I'm the AFL Yank signing out.